Okay, so we're actually on like part 30 now, which is uh, kind of crazy. Let's see what's what's up with him. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. The yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help... I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but... It'll be good to close the record. So yeah, we get uh, loyalty missions from uh, some uh, some of the crew now, and uh, if you do it, then basically they survive. Miranda wants to see you, so Miranda wants to talk as well. God damn bit. Oh, okay. Shepard, I all. find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing don't like personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter, and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. How did your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. I love that suit. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Right, if you're gonna just like lean like that and show me the ass, obviously I'm gonna fucking help you, isn't it? I mean, look, I could help. What do you help you? Just because you bought, but my father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Fine. Cerberus is oh. moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. See? She leans over, shows me a bit of booty, I'm helping. I'm all, you know, I'm ready. Rupert. General Distress, MSV Hugo Gernsback, registration BW461003. Something on our sensors. Please insert disc two. Uh, okay. I'm expecting that. Why don't I just take the disc out and put the other one back in? Obviously, because I'm uh, used to playing this uh, this game on PS3, you didn't have to do that. So it's whatever. As long as you can do that, as long as you don't have to go off the game and then come back on it and whatever. So, 
a bit of good news. We'll take Jacob and Zay Mardin. This beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Huh. Watch out. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them. Agents of the liar. He will not escape. Oh, oh, oh. 
worse than no decay. Suspect no end of instability. Our father should let this go on. Something is very wrong. Those drip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laid under pressure. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Clearly docile. Same uniform remnants as those who attacked, however. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent. Previous females said hunters were exiled, behavioral, or gender. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He forced us to eat, to decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? I can't talk to you. Well, the hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. his machines you might stop this this i forget how to read but this was the start what they <laughs> promised and what they did to us we need the sky take us back to the sky jacob what does it say <coughs> it's a cruel oh. log book <coughs> some of them thought the oh, beacon repair was taking too long <coughs> oh die they were afraid they'd run out of supplies and uh. lose their minds to the decay my father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. He wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle. Or toys. In a year. All the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers, like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. This is valuable. 
Let's go talk to him. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. Toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain. But ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. 
After a while, the perks seem normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an Alliance Accord. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Even give him the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. 
Come on. We've got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. And there we go, we've got Jacob's loyalty. So if you had Jacob's enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. See you beautiful hedgehogs later. Peace.